Marin Safin. Marat Safin was just 20 years old when he won his first Grand Slam title. The big Russian's hunt for a second title proved a lot tougher. But when you're on the court, you realize that you have a lot of pressure. The stakes could hardly be higher. And this is the Russian rule. It is. It's going to be a medal battle for him. Let's try to focus a little bit on tennis. Marat Safin is facing some demons. You know what it takes. You know what you need to do. Oh! Boy, he's good to watch Safin. Safin's getting into it. We want to see a little bit of entertainment, right? Safin thinks he's Superman. Has Johansson got any kryptonite? Overdid it. And that racket, is it still alive? It's still alive. Only just. Well, the kryptonite is in Safin's head. Be his own worst enemy. Everyone deals with the pressure our own way. Uh, everybody enjoys the pressure own way. I'm not really proud of the things that I was doing before on the court and outside of the court, and um, that's for sure. I can now I can admit that. And of course, I have to say thank you to all my uh, family sitting over there. We've all been young and stupid, and, um, but what can you do? But you grew up. I'm happy that the people they were. Uh, you know, with a little bit of understanding towards me. Well, of course, it's a different feeling when you're playing the Grand Slam. It's different, different story, different approach, mental approach. Because physically and uh, technically, everybody is more or less the same level. But the problem is uh, a mental, mental state of mind for every player is different. Gee, that's good fighting. You can tell the legs are heavy, the arms are heavy, the whole body, the six foot four inches of it feeling heavy. Because for me, it's a little bit erotic and to be Tagasi, and it's was really important. I always thought that uh, Agassi was uh, unbeatable for me, and I beat him. That was great matches, great matches. Uh, I'm, I'm happy that I won them, but unfortunately, it took me a lot of energy. So you're thinking about how you're going to beat the guy that's uh, walking behind you, and how to play against him. And when you are focused, you're in a zone, so you don't hear anything from outside. This is really going to test his resolve here. Absolutely yelling at himself now, Safin. Oh, there's another one. He's got to give him a warning now. He's smashed that one. But then all of a sudden, when uh, something not going in your direction, you start to pay attention to, to the crowd and what's going on outside, and it means that you are really struggling in big trouble because your concentration has left you. He's serving to the wrong side. He's mentally with it or not? What was going through your head when you walked up to serve on the wrong side of it, on the wrong side of the court? No, it's just, it was, it's, it's OK. <laughs> I was looking for something to get, to come back, at least to, to have a chance to come back. And unfortunately, you know, I made a mistake. It's okay. okay. Have you ever actually just gone ahead and served to the wrong side of the court? No. <laughs> 15 minutes, 10 minutes of uh, lack of concentration can cost you one set. How uh, much? Second different winner, two hours and 15 minutes, total domination in the end over a gallant Russian, Marat Safin. 
realistically, I'm, I'm happy, I'm satisfied, and I don't want to push myself down because I lost the match against Federer. It's not like I play against the yo-yo, the guy he doesn't know how to play tennis. <laughs> you, know what I mean? you know what I mean? 